Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another fun parts mod in the form of the uh, Gurdon Montiplex Rescue Capsule Alpha. A very long name for a very small part. Well, multiple parts really, and as the name may suggest, it is for an escape pod. Now this thing is pretty cool, and I, I have seen multiple escape pods in the past, but this one I think is my favorite, but I also have to admit it overdoes it just a tad. You will find out in a moment why, but the first part that makes up the capsule is the, well of course, capsule pod. Now it's a pretty simple thing, it's got some SAS on it, electrical charge, all of that sort of stuff. Fits one person, and it uses the interior of the Mark I lander can. So it's not a unique interior which saddens me a little bit, but eh, I can live with it. And the next part of it is the Gurdon Montiplex engine. Now this thing is actually pretty cool, because not only is it a lovely and fairly powerful engine considering the size of the craft, but it also has the fuel built in. As you can see here, it has the liquid fuel and oxidizer built in with the engine. I mean, it is an escape pod. You are wanting to make this thing small or as small as possible. Actually, let's get over to this side so we can see the... This is technically the front. This where we were facing is the back, but hey, it works. The next part is the Gurdon Montiplex solid engine. Now this is a very small, very quick burst solid rocket booster. It's essentially a Separatron, but actually I think it's less than a Separatron because yeah, the this uh, a Separatron has eight solid fuel. This only has one. So it is very, it's just a very quick burst and it's basically designed to get you away from your ship because again, it's an escape capsule. You use this to get your initial boost and then you uh, turn on the engine to uh, keep going for longer distances. Now it is a little strange. It always seems to, whoop, wrong, wrong way, always seems to uh, bring it into the building area here turned the wrong way around. So you always seem to have to bring it the right way forward and we just place a couple of those there. Nice tiny tiny little solid rocket booster uh, but it is effective. Now the next bit that we have and the next few bits are all in utility and the first one these all go on top well two of the four rather go on top we have the Gurdon Montiplex solar panel and batteries. Now this is quite interesting because it is built-in solar power right here. I mean, it's, I, I don't understand exactly why you would have it on your escape pod, but who knows, maybe it's a deep space mission and you have to escape your ship or, you know, and then land on Duna and wait for rescue. I guess that would work. You know, you got some built-in solar panels. Then on the top, a very, very low profile parachute and that finishes off the exterior of the capsule. Now the next bits we have are the Gurdon Montiplex floating, kind of a strange name, but it goes nicely right in this SOS position back here. Let's go to just one. And you just gotta plop it right there. And this is a flotation device. It doesn't actually work as a flotation device, but it looks cool doing it. <laughs> then the last part are the Monta Gurdon Montiplex legs. Now these legs do not have suspension on them like say the uh, landing struts do. Uh, so you don't want to land too hard on them, but they do function quite nicely. And I think we should be able to just do that. Oh, it's not taking. I put this together earlier and it actually did work with putting all three, but oh, there we go. Excellent. And with the three symmetry, they go into those little rectangular slots and bam, you have yourself three lovely lander legs. And that finishes up the construction of the capsule. It's a pretty cool little thing. I, I really like the look of it. It does have 
very, very low resolution textures because this is an alpha version. It honestly looks like they made it in paint. I mean, look at the lines on those little warnings there. It's uh, definitely not an amazing texture, but hopefully in the future we will get a much, much nicer texture. And also, I'm hoping a nice interior. But what I'm going to do actually here real quick is load up a pre-built one that I made earlier that also is attached to uh, one of these. Oh, I always forget what those are called. My word. Launch Stability Enhancer. I've attached it to that so we can actually take a look at this thing out in the wild and, uh, you know, see it functioning without it tipping over. Now, I think I'm actually going to have to fast forward time a bit here because I think it's going to be nighttime. Uh, which is sad, but oh well. We have a Nilami Kerman in there. Ah, you know what, we've got the... Oh no, we'll, we'll still time accelerate even though we have the lights here. So let's just let watch the clouds roll by. And... Come on, daytime. You can, you can come a little quicker. Anytime now, there we go. Alright, now we have this wonderful lander here or capsule, and actually though, it would work quite nicely as a lander, though if you're going for a planet, it wouldn't go very well. Uh, now, as I said, it does have, and oh, I am still fast forwarding here, it does have an IVA view, so if we go in here, we are in the typical lander can. Now, I've got the lander can interior set up with the you know, glass cockpit stuff, the raster prop monitor, so it works well, but everything else is so, oh, oh my, where's my head? Oh, that's a little disturbing. Everything else, though, is pretty much a standard Mark I lander can. Works well, and it, it functions for this particular capsule. But like I said, I do hope it does come with its own eventually. Now, I set up a few action groups here, so if you hit one, that opens up the engine door. This is probably, honestly, one of my favorite bits. The engine at the bottom, you can open and close it. It's just glorious. Now, it still does work if it is closed, um, but it looks better, of course, if it is open. Now, on two, I have the lander le landing legs there, which are quite nicely animated. Quite a nice, cool job on those. And three, we have for these solar panels, which, again... I find a little strange for an escape pod, but I guess, like I said earlier, eh, you know, if you're escaping and landing on a foreign planet, or alien world rather, it does work quite well. And then last, I, ooh, I forgot to put this on an action group, or d yeah, I did. We have the flotation device. <laughs> I love that thing. It does not actually work as a flotation device, which saddens me a bit. But it's, it just looks cool. And it actually, if you do land in the water, it is at the water line if you level yourself out with the SAS. And that is actually what we're going to go do now. So if we toggle that closed. Now if we just take off right away with just the solid rocket boosters, we will just crash straight into the ground. Because like I said, uh, they only have one <laughs> bit of solid fuel to them, so they won't last for very long. But, if we go with this engine here, it's actually pretty impressively powerful, mainly because it is such a tiny ship. So if we launch, we shoot up and just start flying away. Now let's go towards the ocean. And if we bring up the fuel, it has overall 50 liquid fuel and 70 oxidizers. So this thing's got quite a bit of fuel for such a small craft. Honestly, I think if you shot this thing out from over the moon, you could probably get this baby back to Kerbin with no issue. So if we just throttle back now and pull the parachute and bring ourselves nicely down to the water, I just want to show off of the uh, flotation device and how it is in fact level with the water if we turn off the SAS there. Now I do like the look of the parachute part up here after it has released. I like the sort of warning lines there. It is quite nice. If we fast forward a bit. Yep, yes, yes, yes. That warning always pops up. Poor Nilami Kerman. He's he's not too happy right now. Uh, I guess you wouldn't be either being shot out of a uh, emergency escape capsule into the ocean purely for testing reasons. 
But uh, you know what? It's for science. So we turn the SAS back on. We should just bob up and down in the water nicely. And there we go. Back down to regular time and release the flotation device. Actually, it is a little bit high this time around. Last time I was, I did launch this to test this out. It was properly at the waterline. I'm wondering why it is a little bit higher this go. But oh well, c'est la vie. I, I do think it would be cool though if this actually did function as a flotation device, but as it stands, it does not. Now that we turn off the SAS, it just rolls right into its position that it would at any point with any other capsule. So, what we're going to do here is we are actually going to head back to the Space Center, and I have up in space a space station with one of these babies prepped and ready to go for its true purpose. So let's go to there, and we'll just have some fun with this. Now, this is one of the stations that I launched up for the uh, previous episode where we were looking at the... Oh my, I'm forgetting now. The resource mod. But let's go EVA. Let go. Turn on the pack. And this is without what you would have to do to get to your capsule normally in the game, which is a little sad, but... I do not have the resource management one loaded up on this. So we grab... Oop, I went away. There we go. And grab. Excellent. And then board quick. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Your handholds are odd on this thing because it's... It's not... Uh, you don't actually have a proper ladder. You're just trying to do what you can here with probably like a basic handhold. So, oh, nope, did not work again. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> poor, poor guy here, man. He is not, he is not doing too well with this. You got to grab that thing pretty quick. So this is an issue with it. Um, definitely a slight problem as you have a very, very small handhold area. Okay, okay. What is your mono propellant at? Not bad. It's just slowly. Come on. Oh, I am way too low. Grab and oh, oh, that is that is not working in the slightest. Okay. Okay, we are going to try. Ooh, actually never mind. I do still have the ship manifest resource mod loaded, so let's just get back to the normal <laughs> part of the ship. So that is that is a problem right now with this lander, or the capsule, rather. It is, well, not quite easy to get into. It is honestly a, very, a bit difficult to get into the thing, because there is no proper ladder attached to it, so you are just sort of trying to get it as fast as you can. Oh, though, oh my, even grabbing onto that one was difficult. Okay, let's board. And I thought I had removed the ship manifest mod for some re uh, reasons of cleaning up my build here, but apparently I did not. So, crew, and let's transfer it to the module and the ah there we are ooh that is there we go he is now in that wonderful let us just close all whoop close all that up <laughs> and release there we go oh no 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 not time accelerate there we are let's move over to that now, I just realized that we left <laughs> with, oh my, with that little bit of the decoupler. That is sad, but oh well. Oh well. Let us get here and burn. Oh my, that is, that is going a bit out of control there. 
let's <laughs> let's turn that off. So controlling this thing is a little difficult. This is why I wanted to get up into space. I wanted to see how easy and or difficult it might be to control this when in space. So let's just slowly throttle up now. Perhaps if we open the... Oh, that was the uh, solar panels that I had on that. Let's just open it manually. And... See if we can throttle up now. Oh, oh. So throttling up... Definitely starts to make this thing a bit wonky, but... Oh my! Oh, there we go. Okay. Any slight movement makes this thing go a bit out of control. But let's check the map here. Oh, we will indeed be coming in for a decent landing, but let's... Let's try adjusting it a little bit. And... Hopeful, I'm hoping we might be able to get onto land. There we go. And let's cut it right there. That should be good. <laughs> I wish I would have used a different separator so we didn't still have this thing stuck to the side of us, but oh well. That'll have to do. And let's fast forward time. There we go. Coming in quite nicely. Get ourselves angled more this way. We are, of course, coming in, so let's close that engine. There we go. I do like that. That is definitely probably one of my favorite things. And... Soon enough. There we are. We'll have the heat effects in a moment. There we go. Lovely. Oh, we're landing in the mountains. Oh, no. This is not going to go well. Okay. There we are. Let's launch our chute. Open our lander legs. Oh, my. We... Ooh, let's, let's actually throttle up because since we're in the mountains... This... Oh, no, we're good. We're good. The parachute did open. I was worried that perhaps we might be a bit too high up for those to function. But no, we seem to be all right. Go do 2x acceleration. And hopefully we don't tip over with this mountain here. And just want to land and then get out Matt Kerman out of here and... You know, take a look at our lovely new capsule. Oh, my. We're coming in hard. Oh, and we... Oh, my. We we broke apart a little there. Okay. Okay. I was worried about that with the uh, mountains, but... C'est la vie, I guess. Oh, we're not going to be able to flip ourselves over, are we? Hold on. Let's try this. I think that land air leg is broken. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Whoa. This is... Oh, yeah. This is broke. <laughs> Well, let's pop him out. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 the humanity. Oh, oh, my. okay, okay. We technically survived, though I don't know how safe this capsule is. Like I said at the beginning, this is an alpha version of this capsule, so it does still have a ways to go. It is definitely not the full final finished product. But that, that was slightly horrifying and not too safe, I don't think, at the moment for a rescue capsule. But it is a fun little thing. I love all the built-in stuff with it, like the solar panels, the flotation device, which doesn't actually float. It is all quite fun. And so, yeah, if you'd like to check this mod out, you can follow the link in the description to go download it for yourself and give it a try. But I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And, of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.